Grey Man! Grey Maniacs Gather for another one of my videos. And I am showing off some uh, Justice League again. Yeah, this is box 29. Well, mostly Justice League in this box. Probably all Justice League. So 127. The command is chaos. And it's got Superman punching out Green Lantern. Seems to be a, a thing Green Lantern's getting punched out in Justice League. <laughs> but it's not Guy Gardner this time. It's Hal Jordan. Who'd have thought it? Wonder Woman finally rejoined the JLA. Just in time for her funeral. Hawkman carrying a allegedly dead Wonder Woman. Right. Uh, don't have the next one. Right, number 130 I have next. The world's greatest superhero. Some kind of composite uh, superhero. Got Flash's legs. Don't know whose arms and body that's supposed to be, but it's got Hawkman's head. Some kind of a Mazo android, maybe? Hmm. Strange looking construction. <laughs> the world's greatest superheroes battle the beasts who fought like men. Justice League America. Do not feed the humans. <laughs> Next week's cover sling is on pets, but I don't think if you're in a cage, you're a zoo animal, aren't you? You're not a pet. It's a shame. But that would have been awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just cracking up looking at Hawkman. Hawkman's on a canary perch. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, sorry. Um, obviously, I do get over over humoured by some stuff. Right, the next one I've got is one thirty four. Despero means danger in battle at the edge of forever. Your yeah, Despero used to be like a you know just a normal looking sized guy, but he turned into a really sort of powerful, strong kind of. I don't know if he got a new body or what. And then later on, he's. Brain was replaced inside his body by, is it Elrond the robot? Uh, the super champions of three worlds face a crisis on Earth S. Fighting Dr. Light, Joker, and. What the shroud is it? Shade, the shade. I reminded myself I've forgotten that one. That was 136. Another one missing. This one, I believe, came from Jambo. This is number 138, Neil Adams, apparently. Adam Strange, hero of Ran, and has been crossed out to be enemy of Earth. Uh, two all new novels, 13 superheroes, five master villains. Neil Adams cover. It's got a big label over it. And there's nothing we can do to save them. I'm not sure what's being said by Hawkman. Um, 140, a new double-length thriller. Come on, Justice Leaguers, we've got to rescue Green Lantern. No, let Manhunter take me. I'm guilty of the most dreadful crime in the universe. So I didn't realise that the Manhunters weren't invented just for the Lincoln Millennium series, but they were actually older than I thought. I, 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 cause I'd never heard of them before reading Millennium. I thought they'd been invented for that, maybe. But no, there's a Manhunter there. No man escapes the Manhunters. Everyone knows that. Uh, you don't know when there's a Manhunter in your midst. I might be a Manhunter. <laughs> right, 142. Adam, Mayday, Red Alert for Earth, Aquaman, Emergency, need you here now. SOS, Elongated Man, why don't you answer? <laughs> it's because they're fighting a robot, that's why. They're busy fighting a robot. The Alpha Emergency will have to wait. They've got pressing matters on their hands right now. That's 142. 
144 is next. Uh, I'll crush you all or you'll never get the chance to form your Justice League. I'm probably going to start reading these once because, um, yeah, I'm trying not to pick anything up too much. Uh, and I'm like, will I ever get around to buying all of these? I should just read them because it's going to be a long while before I've actually got them all. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, so there's 144. The next one I've got is 149. Uh, the JLAers can't break out of Dr. Light's trap as he literally splits them up. Oh, yeah, they're breaking up. They're breaking up. Uh, 152. No, the villain who's crushing the Justice League is a little girl. A little bit girl being crushing the Justice League. Yeah, she's only a little girl, but now you can take her out of one kick. One kick in the face. <laughs> or, or are you maybe thinking that that's not a good thing to do? I don't know. If, if they're crushing your colleagues, you've got to kick them in the face at the very least. Uh, right, 153. His name is Ultra. Where did he come from? How did he get his incredible powers? Is he the world supreme superhero? It's the most dangerous menace? Or both? All I can say, I think he... Shops at the same place as Bill, Bill Miller of Quote Mag's Musings. That's the kind of get up I can just imagine Bill Discotech into. <laughs> Your struggles are in vain, Justice Leaguers, for I am Dr. Destiny, and it's my decree I'll kill you in your dreams. Oh, yeah. Don't you just hate you when that happens? Nothing worse than being killed in your dreams. Twin moons spell doom when they threaten to split Earth apart. Uh, beware! The fiend with five faces! It got Aquaman and now it's coming for us! Covered by Buckler. Buckler and Giacoa. Giacoya? Charge, Justice League heroes! Destroy the superheroines! The entire JLA and guests in a battle royal devised by the diabolical siren. Oh, she's controlling the men. She's controlling the men to fight the women. It's gonna be a gonna be a, a crunching battle. So you got Wonder Woman and Supergirl who are tough as nails. Um, Black Canary, who could definitely take out a few of the fellas. Or at least hold her own against them. But then they've got Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, Green Arrow, Aquaman and Flash. The ladies uh, have got their work cut out for them. That's all I can say. I would guess though that the men are fighting against the control. And so maybe they'll be less... Uh, able to fight than normal. Because they'll be fighting themselves in their own heads to try not to beat the women. Uh here comes the Injustice Gang, and because of you, Ultra, we're powerless. Then I'll have to beat them all single-handed. Yeah, so there's that Ultra again. He came back. Somehow he's responsible for the Justice League losing their powers. But at least he's uh, seems to be fighting on the side of good. The Justice League and Justice Society versus Jonah Hex, Viking Prince, Miss Liberty, Black Pirate, and Emily, Enemy Ace. The annual JLA JSA team up leads to the downfall of both at the hands of five heroes from yesterday. Miss Liberty, I believe, just had a feature on a Night Tiger's channel. He's going for all the DC heroes uh, chronologically and good, telling you, you know, a lot about them. And he mentioned this comic in his uh, Miss Liberty uh, rundown. So make sure you, well, obviously you all sub to Night Tiger if you've got any sense. If not, search him out. Search out Night Tiger and have a watch it. some of his series that he does. They're very cool. Right. The book that gives you more all-out action starring the world's greatest superheroes. Me? Join your miserable league? Never. Let her go. Who needs her? Why? What motive could she have? 
Satana, you've always been our friend. But no one turns down the Justice League. Watch it, lady. That blast nearly fried me. If I'd known she'd act like this, I wouldn't have proposed her membership. After we all voted to admit her, what an ingrate. <laughs> well, that's a busy cover. That's a busy chalking cover. I love it. <laughs> Word balloons galore. Uh, yeah. Right, uh, unless the world's greatest superheroes can halt them, the conquering creatures of tomorrow will be the new masters of Earth today. Another Dylan and Giordano this time. <laughs> We've got lobster things, rat things, eagle things versus the superheroes. Come forth, demons of destruction, slay the superheroes. Warning, plug your ears. Those who hear the music of madness, die. Who's that? The music master? The composer? Of, well, there was a guy who used to play a violin. I can't what his name was called. Um, the fiddler. Was it called a fiddler? I don't know who this fella is. Uh, no, Zatanna, stay back. Their magical powers are too great even for me. You can't possibly save your mother. Then I'll die with her. It's a good point. I never knew who Zatanna's mother was. We always said Zatara was her dad. But, uh, hmm. Okay. Great Krypton. My opponent is a stone statue. Mine is made of wood. These warriors are phonies. Where are our real foes? Uh, that object is taking over our minds, our bodies. A statuette with the power to destroy the JLA. What nameless force is behind that power? This is what I had as a, as a kid, I'm sure. Very memorable. One was laid out Superman's about to go down by the looks of it look out Green Arrow Superman is really the wizard and I'm super don't listen to him it's some new trick he's got up his sleeve Ooh. <laughs> looks like there's been some body shopping going on someone else's mind is in Superman's body that looks like a Mm. Yeah, the wizard. Ooh. Right, now is the time. Begin. What unholy ritual is about to take place between the supervillains and the JLA? Mm. Oh, they in the Injustice League. So that's the wizard. That's Fluonic Man, Blockbuster. Star Sapphire and Reverse Flash. Mm. Okay. People attacking us for no reason, as if some evil presence has taken over their minds. Beginning this issue, Doomsday Decision, an exciting two-part novelette. That weird guy in the shadows there, his, his face is like not connected fully to his body. That, that, that can't be good. That can't be an auspicious sign of a nice chap. The entire JLA turns out to save a burning world, but the Batman discovers that only he can put an end to the flames. Batman's gone space. Batman's gone sci-fi. Look at him, he looks like Flash Gordon or something. And his little sky cycle. Right, getting near the end of today's comics. This piece of metal holds the clue to the identity of his murderer. If you don't find the answer, more superheroes will die. The JLA and JSA are back together again. I uh, vaguely recall who was supposed to have died in this one. There's actually a, someone did actually die. Was a super, I think it's a Golden Age superhero who's actually dead under that, that cloth. But I can't remember who it was. Well, I'm sure they did kill someone off for this episode, this issue. Um... There is only one member of our group who could have turned traitor and become a murderer. You! JLA and JSA joined in a desperate race against time to trap a killer gone mad in I Accuse. 
Looks like Superman. Looks like Superman's been having a finger pointing at him. Right, last two. We want you on the team, Black Lightning. With that giant bunch of turkeys in the JLA, forget it. <laughs> so is that those guys behind Superman, new members of the JLA, is some weird alternate team? I've no idea who the guys behind him are. They look like they were made up just for his comic book. A really garish looking musketeer. Looks like a star man in a, in a, yeah, and an ape woman. <laughs> oh dear. That, that one at the back there. I think that's one of Bill's ex-girlfriends. <laughs> oh dear, right. This is only the beginning. The city is doomed. Get out while you still can, fools! That's uh, JLA versus some rats. Some rat-like things. Right then. That'll do it for today. Cheers for watching. Um, uh, everyone sub up. If you're not subbed already, sub up Zoe and Pops. Zoe and Pops. Zoe and Pops. I watched their live stream the other night. They were showing off some comic books. And yeah, they're looking to get to 350. I think the 350 was the next target. And uh, you know, go sub them up. Go show them some sub love. Go and give them a comment to bump on one of their videos. I'm out of here. Till next time, have a great amazing day. And may all your news be good news. Sub up Zoe and Pops, sub up Zoe and Pops, help them get to 350 subs. Go and sub them up, go and sub them up, go and sub up Zoe and Pops.